Thanks, if we could welcome Eliezer Moody Zandberg, please, uh, the chairman of Karen Hayasad. Mr. Prime Minister, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, when the Prime Minister approached me in my capacity as the world chairman of Karen Hayasad United Israel Appeal, and offered Karen Aesod the opportunity of becoming a partner in the national strategic project of innovation in alternative fuels for transportation that was established by the government of Israel, I immediately knew that our response would be affirmative one. The initiative is comprised of many elements. It includes encouraging of Aliyah, scientists that will come to Israel to do their work here from all over the world. It includes the, uh, uh, the field of uh, inter-university centers of knowledge, which is collaboration in Israel and out of Israel. It is basically building up an industry in the future, an industry that will be the new type of high-tech that will come out of Israel, and a prize that is considered equal to its, in its importance to the Nobel Prize. I knew that among Karen Hayesod activists and donors, the right people would be found to help to realize the Prime Minister's vision. Karen Hayesod, United Israel Appeal, as a national institution of the State of Israel, has always met every challenge that the governments of Israel placed before it. Karen Hayesod has always mobilized for any national undertakings. We at Karen Hayesod have always believed and always act upon developing infrastructure along with human capital here in Israel. The strategic partnership began long before the establishment of the State of Israel and continues to date. Karen Isod serves as a bridge between the Jewish communities throughout the world and the State of Israel. Shortly after Prime Minister raised the call of uh, cooperation for this national program, I felt extremely proud to call him and announce, Mr. Prime Minister, Karen Aysod, United Israel Appeal, has completed the task that you placed before it. Sheila and Eric Samson, with their great generosity, will sponsor the prize. <laughs> Sheila and Eric, and Eric Samson are among the most prominent international Jewish leaders who have successfully been leading the South African Jewish community for well over 30 years. This Zionist family has always been staunch supporters of Israel, demonstrating the highest level of commitment and leadership with their support for the Jewish state since the establishment of the Jewish state in the meaning of many years ago. In addition uh, to his uh, impressive record as a prominent Jewish leader, Eric is also a very successful businessman on an international scale in the steel industry and is the owner of major steel enterprises around the world. Sheila and Eric have supported numerous projects in this country, in Israel, and are recognized for their generosity, which has impacted on the lives of so many people in Israel and around the world. We, in Karen I Sod World, are extremely proud of Sheila and Eric Samson, who have, in addition to sponsoring this prize, also taken upon themselves the renovation and reconstruction of the Independence Hall in Tel Aviv, a project of high national and historic priority in response to the government National Priority Heritage Program. Thank you very much for that as well. Their immediate response to the Prime Minister's request which we are celebrating tonight, the support of scientific research and development of alternative to fuel for transportation is yet another example of their personal involvement in most essential issues facing the state of Israel today, and I would say the world today. I wish to express our heartfelt appreciation and admiration to Sheila and Eric for their genuine concern, commitment, love, and ongoing support for all the people of Israel. Let us all salute Sheila and Eric. Toda Raba. Now, I know, Mr. Prime Minister, that uh, you are presently facing great challenges. That's another way to say major uh, crises and problems and issues around the world that all somehow connected to us. The number of important decisions that you need to, you need to take 
and must make uh, in the near coming weeks, days, months for the Jewish people and for the future of Israel, the number is enormous. But Mr. Prime Minister, I want to promise you this. You can rest assured that Keren Aisod, through its campaigns, its volunteers, activists, leadership, and generous donors, will do everything possible to fulfill every task that you give us. Thank you very much.